What's the next thing that happens? The next thing that happened is uh, someone is talking to Mr. Olson about the cell phone. Okay. Did Mr. Olson respond to this gentleman? Yes, he said something along the lines of, I'm texting my babysitter or I'm texting my daughter's babysitter. Okay. Texting. Texting. This person who you said you later become, became known to you is Mr. Olson. Yes. Right. Was he screaming? No. Was he angry? No. Was he agitated at that time? No, informative. Okay. So you hear these conversations, you go back to watching the previews, right? Previews, yes. As you're watching the previews, what's the next thing that happens? The next thing that happened is there was some type of interchange between Olson and the gentleman sitting behind him, and the gentleman sitting behind him stood up and left the theater. Okay. Did you hear that conversation, or you couldn't? No, not ex no, I could not hear their conversation. Okay. So, at that point, Mr. Reeves leaves. There, the person behind him who was in a, yes, he left the theater. All right. What was his demeanor as he left the theater? He seemed to be shuffling his feet fairly quickly. As he passed my seat, he was mumbling to himself, and it just sounded very agitated in that mumbling. <coughs> and uh, he also hit my seat and the back of my head as he was passing. All right, let me ask you. So he hits the back of your seat. Did he say, oh, I'm sorry, sir? No, he did not. Did he say, excuse me? No, he did not. He didn't say anything to you? No, he did not. Did you see him walk out of the theater? Yes, I did. Did he have any difficulties walking? He walked normal as far as I could see. Okay. How long has he gone? He's gone about uh, three or four minutes. Okay. While he's gone, is there anything else going on in the theater? Not that I knew. I'm just, I'm just watching the previews again. All right. Did you see him coming back up? Yes, I saw him coming back up. Can you tell the members of this jury his gait, was he walking rapidly, quick, slow? He, he was walking uh, a little bit faster than normal. And the reason I watched him because I wanted to make sure he didn't hit my seat again. Okay. Did he get to his row? Yes, he did. Did he have any difficulties? Did he hit the back of your seat or anything then? No, he didn't. Okay. Did you see him sit down? I saw him go to where he was. I don't believe if he sat down or I, I saw him get as far as he got to his seat. I don't know if I noticed that he sat down. Okay. So then you're watching the previews, right? Back to the previews. All right. Let me ask you something, Mr. Cummings. Do you wear glasses? Yes, I do. Back on January 13th. I, I used to wear glasses. Okay. On January 13th of 2014, were you wearing glasses? Yes, I was. Were, were you nearsighted or farsighted? Nearsighted. Okay. You had your glasses on? Correct. Did you have any difficulties uh, seeing in the movie theater? No, I did not. Okay. Do you have any problems with your, with your peripheral vision? Uh, on, on my right eye, I do. On my left eye, I do not. Okay. So, you indicated that it was Alex in the first seat, you in the second seat. Correct. Right? Yes. So, everything that occurred would have been to your left? Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And you didn't have any difficulty seeing? No, I did not. All right. You're sitting there. Mr. Reeves is back. What is the next thing that draws your attention to that area? There seems to be a heated conversation. Okay. Between Mr. Olson and Mr. Reeves? Between Mr. Olson and Mr. Reeves. Okay. Could you hear what Mr. Reeves said? No, I could not hear what he said exactly, no. All right, but you could hear him speaking. I knew that they were conversing. All right, yeah. could you hear what Mr. Olson said? Oh, at one point I heard what he said when he, when he stood up. Okay, and when he, when he stood up, what did you hear him say? Are you trying to get me thrown out of the theater or something like that? All right. Now, prior to the shot, did you ever see Mr. Olson climbing over his chair? No, I did not. Did you ever see him throw a punch? 
No, I did not. Did you ever see him throw an object? No, I did not. <clears throat> Prior to the shot, did you ever hear Mr. Reeves say anything or react as if he had been hit either by a punch or an object? No. Did you ever see him react such as, oh, and grab his face? No, I did not. <clears throat> Prior to seeing the flash and hearing the gunshot, did you ever see Mr. Olson all the way back, um, excuse me, Mr. Reeves all the way back in his chair saying either, whoa, 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 or no, no, no? I did not hear that, no. Did you see it? I did not hear it nor see it. All right. So, getting back to the events, Mr. Olson standing up, right? Yes. You indicated he said, what are you trying to get me thrown out of the theater? Yes. What is the next thing that you observe? The next thing I observe is popcorn in the air. All right. Oh. Do you know how it got in the air? I do not know how it got in the air, but when it was in the air, that's what caught my attention again. All right. So popcorn's in the air. Popcorn's in the air. What's the next thing that happens? Flash shot. Flash and a bang. Yes. All right. Immediately or soon thereafter, did you hear Mr. Reeves make a statement? Yes, I did. Okay. What did you hear him say? Something along the lines of throw popcorn in my face or throw popcorn at me. Okay. <clears throat> did you realize what had happened? I realized I was a shot. All right. And I didn't know if it was anybody was hit. Okay. So you're, uh, again, it's Alex and you, first and second seats. Correct. Did you observe either Mrs. Olson or Mr. Olson to start to walk towards the aisle? Yes, I noticed they both did. Mrs. Okay. Olson first, uh, weeping a little bit, and then Chad was behind her by about a yard, yard and a half. All right. Was Mrs. Olson saying anything? She was just weeping and sounded like she was extremely scared. All right. Did there come a time when Mr. Olson was walking towards you? Yes, he was starting to walk towards. Prior to getting to where you were, almost at your feet, prior to falling, what, if anything, did he say? He said, I can't believe he shot me. <clears throat> did Mr. Olson fall at your feet? He did. He fell at my feet, and, and he also hit my son as he was falling. Okay. When that happened, did you tell Alex to leave the theater and go call 911? Yes, I was very concerned about my son. I was very concerned about his safety. I asked him to leave the theater, number one, for his safety, and number two, to call 911. Okay. But to get him out of the theater, not knowing what could happen next. All right. Now let's go back a moment to the conversations that Mr. Olson and Mr. Reeves were having. Did you ever hear Mr. Olson threaten Mr. Reeves? No, I did not hear him and, say that. All right. Did you ever hear... Anything like that? I did not hear that, no. Did you ever hear Mr. Olson threatening Mr. Reeves? I did not hear him threatening him, no. <clears throat> All right. So, Mr. Olson is at your feet. What are you doing? We start, well, somebody came up behind me, but I, when he went to my feet and his head was on my left foot, I started resuscitation as best as I could. I wasn't sure where the bullet wound was, but I could feel blood on my hand. Okay. So you started chest compressions? Compressions is what it's called, yes. All right. Was he shot in the chest? I'm not sure where he was shot, but the blood started to come from his chest, so I'm assuming that's where it was. And then with about a, within a minute, I knew he was shot in the chest. All right. So as Mr. Olson is literally on your feet, are you observing or looking at Mr. Reeves to see what he's doing or not doing? No. You're paying attention to Mr. Olson? Correct. All right. 
Is there a time that obviously medical personnel come in and law enforcement comes in? They came in about 15, 20 minutes later. Uh, there was someone helping me with, with, uh, with Mr. Olson. And but when the law enforcement arrived, or the medics arrived, they said to me, we'll take them. So at okay. that point, I got up and left, left Chad Olson. All right. Um, <clears throat> as you were attempting to do CPR on Mr. Olson, did you get blood on your clothing and your hands and so on and so forth? Yes. And my shoe, my flip-flops. Connor, I'm going to ask the record reflect that I'm going to show to Defense Counsel States Exhibits S, T, U, V, W, and X for identification purposes. All right, sidebar, give us a chance to get a break in. Matt, more live testimony right for this, stay with us.